So let's continue talking about object-oriented concepts. As part of this video, we'll talk about uh, a special type of uh, class called object, which is nothing but singleton class. Uh, if you are uh, um, talking in in the context as a Java programmer, uh, so in Java, when we create classes, we create static methods. For example, main fun main method itself is a static method. Uh, Scala doesn't have static keyword at all. Uh, so if you have to define any static methods for a given class, you have to create an object with the same name. It is also called as companion class, companion object for the class. And you can have uh, uh, as many static methods as you want, including the main function. So if you want to have a main method, you have to create an uh, object and then you can do whatever you want. So let's get started with the uh, object, which is nothing but a single singleton class by name hello world okay and it doesn't take any arguments or uh, class level variables the way we have seen with uh, a typical class and if you want to define main method you just say def main and uh, similar to java main method in scala also takes array of uh, strings as uh, argument so i'm using args array of string this is how you can define uh, data type for, for array of uh, uh, particular type of element, in this case string. Uh, si similar to Java, uh, which will take, um, uh, where main function will take uh, array of uh, uh, string as argument, uh, same is the case here. Okay. And then um, it returns uh, nothing. Um, so void, there is no keyword in um, uh, void in Scala. If you are written nothing, you have to define and return type as unit. Unit is also a class in Scala. So everything is a class in Scala. Okay, and then um, open your braces like this. You can also ignore the return type and equal to if you if you don't want to explicitly specify. Um, but if you want, you can explicitly specify also. So here I am just doing println hello world. Okay. And then the method definition is done and also object is done. Now, if you want to invoke that main method from REPL, you can say hello world dot main. The way you invoke any static method, you can do that uh, like this. And the main method takes array of strings as arguments. So you can actually pass array of strings like this. And then it will run the main method. Okay. Um, if you want to compile it into a jar and invoke the uh, main method, you can do that by just defining like this. Um, with REPL, you cannot uh, invoke main method without uh, specifying class name or object name dot main. Okay, so object is a uh, keyword which represents singleton class. A singleton class uh, uh, cannot be instantiated more than once and uh, for that reason there won't be any constructor for uh, objects like uh, this we can have as many methods as you want and then uh, there is a concept of companion object already we have seen uh, uh, the class created earlier so let me copy the code for the class so this is the one which we have copied earlier which we have used earlier to create a class and if you go to the paste uh, paste mode and then if you define object with the same name okay in this case the class name and the object name are same if that is the case then it is called as companion object and if you want to create a class and companion object like this you have to do it in only paste mode you cannot just type under Scala and expect both to, to be companions so the behavior of companion objects is even if you have some private classes in the uh, private methods in the class still you will be able to access in this case we don't have but that is uh, the special privilege the companion object inherits uh, uh, if you create class and object with the same name uh, within a, within a program okay and order doesn't take any arguments and um, we don't need to define any variables also there is a special method called apply so here i am defining the apply method and let's uh, 
take let's pass four arguments for it not variables but arguments so we should not define val or where for the arguments we just copy all the four arguments here okay and then uh, I would like to return um, order object in the supply method. This is uh, how typically we use companion objects uh, in real, wo real world scenarios also. Okay, and then uh, in this we will return order object built with the arguments which will be passing as part of the apply method. Okay, so it might be getting uh, uh, too much for you writing these many lines of code and if there's any errors, uh, it is very tough to manage because you cannot go up by one line and edit. So for that reason, for all practical purposes, it is better to use some editor. I would highly recommend you to use any native Linux editors or Sublime Text, whatever is provided as part of the certification. Cloudera provides Sublime Text also. Um, I'm not sure about Hortonworks, uh, but Cloudera provides Sublime Text. So instead of using IDE, even if it is provided, if you use uh, standard editors, uh, it is lighter weight and uh, uh, it will not uh, uh, run into garbage collection frequently. So the response will be much, much better. For that reason, I'm launching Sublime Text here. Most likely as part of the certification exams, they will have the bookmarks on the desktop itself uh, for, for uh, the editors they provide. Or you can also search uh, using uh, the search method in the Linux. You have to be a bit comfortable with the Linux environment while giving the certification. Okay, so I, I, I have pasted here so that if there are any issues with the code, I can easily edit here and copy paste uh, to demonstrate. Okay. So that being said, now we have the class and object um, with apply method. Now if I want to create a order object uh, which is immutable, either I can say new order and pass the arguments or I can say order dot apply because order uh, is uh, object as well. It is also a singleton class. We have class and also we have order and order have method which which is kind of uh, static method which can be uh, invoked by just using the name of the object dot apply okay and then uh, uh, you can pass the arguments 1 2013 0 10 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is the order date 100 customer id and then order status complete okay now you will have um, order object created and if you see as part of the apply method i'm actually uh, invoking uh, uh, new and then the constructor uh, for the order class so i'm actually crea creating instance of uh, this one on um, and that's what have happened here okay so even though i'm applying method on the object uh, internally it is actually creating um, order of type this one so if you recollect java p to see the metadata if i run java p command um, there is not much difference uh, for whatever we have seen earlier uh, the reason is even though both class and object are with the same name internally scala uh, compiles it into two different uh, classes okay one with the same name as uh, the class which we have created and the other one with a dollar at the end so even though both class and object have the same names uh, from um, syntax perspective internally they are represented as two different classes one is regular class where there is a constructor and all those things and the other one is singleton class okay 
and you can see uh, there are only st uh, static methods which can be uh, invoked okay so that's what is happening here that being said um, now uh, one more thing which you need to understand with apply method is apply is a special type of method uh, you, invoking apply like this is optional you don't need to say dot apply if you have apply method if you go back to this this is same as order dot apply and then the four arguments is same as this one okay so dot apply using the um, code dot apply while invoking the function is not is optional that's why apply the special method okay the advantage of doing this is uh, um, we are we can actually separate the uh, um, uh, the class and we can uh, um, make certain things private and expose whatever is required uh, through object so you will get better control uh, on your code also you can have as many apply methods as you want so for example i will be passing all the arguments as strings rather than integers but we have only one constructor um, and that constructor takes um, order ID as integer and order customer ID as integer. But we, here we, we are using apply method um, with order ID of type string and order customer ID is also of type string. So what we can do, we can just type cast by saying to int like this. And now we can actually copy paste this code. Okay, and uh, we can also invoke apply method by passing all four arguments as strings. Okay, so by this, uh, what you can do, you can um, use one way of uh, creating the objects and uh, even though we might not create class and companion object uh, in many cases we use something called case class which you will see a bit later and case class have all those features inbuilt automatically for you so that being said as part of this we have seen how to create the main function using a singleton class which is nothing but object in Scala and then we have uh, seen how to define the object uh, with the apply method and how it can be invoked and this knowledge can come very very handy later.